Ladies and gentlemen, in presenting Home Miracles for 1950, I'm going to give you a demonstration of one of the most wonderful machines that was ever invented, the Vitamix machine, and I'm going to talk to you on the most vital subject that concerns you and your family, and that is health. With health, we have wealth. We're the richest person on earth. Without health, you're a miserable failure. You'll lose your wealth, you'll lose your job, you'll lose your income, and you'll lose your life. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know the first thing that you're going to say is, what is doing that wonderful work? What is performing that miracle? I'm going to call your attention to the machine here, the mechanical part of it, the Vitamix. Remember the name, Vitamix. We have a motor that travels at the rate of 8,000 revolutions a minute on low, 14,000 revolutions a minute on high. You get a one-year guarantee on this motor. If anything goes wrong with it, in one whole year, the company will repair or replace it free of charge. Now, I'm going to call your attention to the business end of the machine, and that is this stainless steel bowl, made out of the, the finest material in the world for the preparation of food. The same material that's used by the United States government on all the battleships and in the hospitals for the preparation of food, stainless steel. On the inside of a container are four little blades that are made of stainless steel. They travel at the rate of 18,000 revolutions a minute. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to first, before I put in this carrot, there's a notch here and a notch over here. You set the two so they match. Before I put in this carrot, I'm going to uh, show you some of the incidental things that you can do with this machine. One of the first things that I'm going to show you is how you can make your breadcrumbs. You want to make stuffings. You want to make uh, breadcrumbs for breading and dressings and so forth. So you take even your soft bread or your dry bread or your toast, your buns, and uh, you put them in. And uh, you can turn on the machine. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to use the glass bowl here so that you people can see what is going on. Remember, your machine will have the stainless steel bowl and you look over the top and see what is going on. But we're going to use this glass bowl and you will see every operation. Now I turn on the machine to low and then to high. And there's your breadcrumbs, already made by electricity. Now I'm going to show you how you can grind your wheat. Many of you would like to make your own whole wheat and uh, for cereal, possibly, or for uh, muffins, or for uh, uh, bread, and do your own baking at home. It's hard to buy whole wheat in, on the market, so you can get your whole uh, the grain, the whole wheat grain, and put it in this machine. Turn on the machine to low and then to high, and you'll grind your wheat into a cereal in about one minute's time. It takes two minutes to make whole wheat flour. If you want cornmeal, you can put the grain, the whole grain of corn in there. And you'll have your cornmeal in one minute's time, and you'll have uh, the uh, flour, corn flour, in two minutes' time. You people who are on a strict diet, maybe you uh, can't tolerate starch, you can put in the soybean and make your soybean flour, barley flour, rice flour, for those on a strict diet. Now we have our cereal here. You put this in a double boiler, and uh, it will cook in about 20 minutes. And you get all the bran, the middling, the germ, and the laxative of the whole wheat. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before I put in this carrot, I'm going to put in just a little liquid. Our recipe book of 500 recipes tells you what liquid to use and how much to use in every one of the recipes. We tell you how to make pie fillers, omelets, cake batters, how to whip your cream, churn your butter, how to make your soups, your waffle batters, your potato pancake batters. You know, I saw a fellow the other day. He said he had had a machine, rather that he had been married for 30 years. And he had never had a potato pancake in 30 years. Now think of that. 30 long, cold winters and no potato pancake. Say, we give you a recipe here that tells you how to make the finest potato pancake that was ever made by any woman. That is given me by a good German cook up in uh, Milwaukee. And I'm going to pass it on to you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before I put in the carrot, I'm going to add just a little uh, water with a little orange juice in it. The recipe on page 9 
calls this the health, uh, the Vitamix health cocktail. Now, before I put in the carrot, I have a patriotic duty to perform. I happen to be the president of the Natural Foods Institute, as you know. And we are trying to teach the mothers of America exactly what the Red Cross and the Parent Teachers Association are trying to put over. And that is that you must, mother, you must change the diet of your family or America is going blind. Do you know right now in America that one half of us children at all are looking through a pane of glass? Do you know right now in America that half of America 27 years of age and over hasn't got a tooth in their mouth? Call up your dentist. He'll say, yes, you can come over seven weeks from next Friday. There's so many ahead of you. Do you know that one third of the American children 12 years of age haven't got a tonsil in their throat? And we had a million boys go before the draft board in our last world war and 460,000 of them were rejected. Think of it. Brigadier General Lewis B. Hershey says it's a national disgrace that 90% of those boys were rejected because of malnutrition. In other words, at the dining room table. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll show you why those conditions exist. You know, there's almost one half the American women who can't nurse their baby. They have to ask a doctor if they can nurse their baby. There isn't another living animal that has to ask such a question, but the mother is not feeding herself right in order to make the, right, the milk and the quality that the child should have. So the doctor says, give it orange juice, cod liver oil, purees of vegetables, and she does. Until the kid gets old enough to come to the table, then when the doctor isn't looking, she says to that little child, you don't need minerals and vitamins anymore. So she throws the whole works out the window. And the first meal she gives that child is one of the most demineralized, devitalized food she can possibly give him, which is mashed potatoes. Think of it. Half of America living on mashed potatoes today. You come to my house, mashed potatoes. I go to your house, mashed potatoes. We go over to the restaurant, mashed potatoes. Over to the hotel, the cafeteria, mashed potatoes. One lady says, what's wrong with mashed potatoes, you old fanatic? Well, I'll show you what's wrong with mashed potatoes. Why, the mothers are even teaching their little children, the coming cooks of America, to do this thing. The God of heaven, when he made that potato, he placed eight minerals and five vitamins in the skin of the potato and next to the skin. He placed the starch, the carbohydrate here, and a small amount of protein. That's the part they take away from him to get diabetes. There's only one way to eat that potato if you want your family to have eyes and teeth and tonsils, and that's to put it in the oven and bake it and eat the skin and all. But no, Mama said, Daddy doesn't have any teeth. He can't eat the skin. And she doesn't have any teeth. She can't eat the skin. And the reason they don't have any teeth is because they didn't eat the skin. So she takes a knife, and she peels off those eight minerals and four vitamins as if they were poison, and she throws them in the garbage can. There go their eyes and their teeth. Then she notices the little brown specks, the eye, the vitamin E. That's the vitamin that reproduces a potato. That's the vitamin that she and Papa must have if they reproduce. The reproductive vitamin, vitamin E. She doesn't want it, she gods it out and throws it in the garbage can. And then she takes a pair, takes the knife, and she cuts the potato half in two, puts it in a pot of water, and for 25 minutes now she does give it the works. She boils out every mineral and every vitamin. And after she gets them all boiled out, what does she do with them? Why, she trots right over to the kitchen sink and drains the whole works down the sewer. She gets out her potato masher and she mashes the starch. She puts on butter, salt, and pepper, feeds the baby in the high chair mashed potatoes. Little Mary gets mashed potatoes. Billy gets mashed potatoes. Old Tom eats a big gob of mashed potatoes. He has to. He hasn't got any teeth. And the reason he hasn't got any teeth, Mama threw them down the sewer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to put in this wonderful carrot. Before I put in the carrot, I'm going to show you, tell you, that it's the most wonderful vegetable that God gave to man. The rabbit loves them, the guinea pig loves them, the horse loves them raw. The minute you cook them, they won't touch them. Did you ever try to feed a horse cooked carrots? He says, what do you think I am, a dumb animal? But Mama has a cookbook, and on page 262, it says, buttered carrots. It says, slice and dice. So she takes that blessed carrot, and she slices and she dices. It says, stew 35 minutes. She turns up the gas. She boils out the iodine, calcium, phosphorus, iron, silicon, sulfur, potassium, and magnesium. She boils out the vitamin A that build the eye, the vitamin B that build the nerves, the vitamin C that build the teeth. And then she trots to the kitchen sink, 
and drains them down the sewer. Down the drain goes the vitamin A that builds resistance against all infectious diseases. Down the drain goes the vitamin A that builds the eyes. Before they know it, they have a new look through a pane of glass the rest of their life. Down the sewer goes the calcium and vitamin C. Before they know it, they haven't got a tooth in their head. They get a set of clockers. Papa and Mama's teeth are in a water glass every night. Down the sewer goes the iron and the bills of thyroid gland. <coughs> Out with the kids' tonsils before they're 12 years of age. With a table loaded down with mashed potatoes and buttered carrots and slush and mush and gush, Papa has to sit at the head of the table and thank God for the food that Mother threw down the sewer. Oh, get a Vitamix machine, my dear people. Get a Vitamix machine. Quit kidding your family, Mother, and see that those minerals and vitamins go where they belong into the bloodstream and build eyes and teeth and tonsils and nerves and health. So we put in a little pineapple juice a while ago and we're going to turn on the machine on to low and then to high. And we're going to cut in this carrot and we'll drink that carrot just exactly like malted milk putting into the bloodstream instead of the kitchen sink every mineral and every vitamin. The next one I'm putting in, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the finest sources of calcium. The old hen eats the wheat and the corn. She takes from the grain a natural calcium and secretes it and forms the shell of that egg. It has been pre-digested by the hen. And if you can break it up sufficiently, you have the finest source of calcium for expectant mothers, nursing mothers, bone trouble, tooth trouble. There's a doctor in Iowa who's made thousands of, yes, hundreds of thousands of pounds of powdered eggshell for his profession. So we're going to crack this egg. And we'll throw in the protein, but we'll also throw in the shell and all. And we'll drink it just exactly like malted milk. The next one I'm putting in is a finest sugar. Here's a sugar that every person in America should have every day. A sugar that's loaded with iron and calcium and magnesium and phosphorus of blood builder. Raisins loaded with iron and calcium. It's a sugar that was in the Garden of Eden, made by God Almighty. And when you make these cocktails for your children so that they can take them to school, mother, say, when you put them in the thermos bottle, you'll be sure that they're sweetened with raisins and you'll be building red blood for their eyes and their teeth and so forth. Here, I'm going to put in the protein and fat, the monkey's beefsteak. You'll get many a meal, mother, with ever light uh, lighting the stove. No table to set, no dishes to wash. Think of that. Say, all you need is a water glass for each member of the family. So I'm going to put in a wonderful protein, the monkey's beefsteak, peanuts. I'm going to put in, ladies and gentlemen, the finest fruit. Oh, how the God of heaven loved America when he placed in our soil the elements that grow the old apple tree. And that old tree goes down in the soil of old Ohio, of California, of Washington and Oregon, New York. Yes, the same old tree in every state in the Union picks up those eight minerals and those five vitamins, carries them up through the branches and down to the stem, and the God of heaven, the great chemist of the universe, stores those eight minerals and four vitamins in the skin of the apple. He places the pectin in the peel. He places the laxative in the peel. The hand of God. He takes the paintbrush of old Mother Nature, and for five months he labors, building the most healthful fruit, the most beautiful fruit, painting every apple on that tree. Oh, what a wonderful artist. But it falls in the hand of a woman with a perry knife. And she says, God doesn't know how to make apples. I do. My cookbook tells me how to make apples. And in one minute, in one minute, that woman deliberately destroys, unmakes what God made. Oh, mother, mother, mother. We put it in the applesauce. She peels those eight minerals and four vitamins off and throws them in the garbage can. Then she says, I bet there's some on the inside too. I'll get them out of there. And sure enough, there's the seed, the vitamin E, the vitamin the little worm knows enough to get and does get in order to raise a family of baby worms. She cuts it out and she throws it in the garbage can, the vitamin E, the anti-sterility vitamin. We put it in the applesauce. And after she peels off and cuts out every mineral and every vitamin, here's what God gave her, here's what she has left. 85% cider. She takes this 85% water, puts it in 100% water. 
and she boils water in water for 20 minutes. Some cook. Then she puts on a lot of white granulated sugar and says, have some apple sass. Assassinated apple. Oh, mother, mother, mother. Get a Vitamix machine. And when you want apple sauce, put in water. Cut the apple in two to see if there isn't any worms in it. If you're a vegetarian, you don't want the worms. Then you cut in the apple core, seeds and all. Throw in a little honey or a little raw sugar, put it on the table and serve it. And if you want a laxative, say, here's the way the animal gets their laxative. Turn your family out on the green pasture. Put a little green spinach in the apple sauce. The finest laxative on earth, a natural laxative. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll put in a wonderful diuretic. It's the same as a watermelon. Looks like a watermelon. Grows on the same long vine, picks up the same minerals, has the same seeds and works on the kidneys exactly like a watermelon. So if you want a natural diuretic, throw in the cucumber. And you'll drink that cucumber, skin and all, in just a few minutes' time. Here's one of the finest vegetables, one of the finest vegetables on earth for the uh, nerve, for women. I say women because there's six women to one man. Six women to one man. Cripple into the doctor's office with their joints inflamed and enlarged. Every time they move a joint, cry out to the high heavens with arthritis. Dr. Pope, a great medical doctor in the Norwalk Laboratories, says the reason women have arthritis is because they were taught when they were little girls that they're made out of sugar and spice and everything nice. How they love their white bread, their toast, their biscuits, their pie, their cake, their jelly, their jam, and all of those carbohydrates. But Dr. Pope says the excessive amount of carbohydrates gets in the bloodstream, settles in the joints. He'll take them all away from you if you have arthritis, girls. And he'll make you drink one pint of celery juice a day, which is 40% sodium, to dissolve the inorganic substance in your joints. And while I speak of celery, you can make celery soup. Put in some milk. Throw in the celery, a little piece of onion, one minute, soup's ready. Take it over to the stove and warm it. Don't cook it. Forty recipes in our recipe book for making soup. Here, ladies and gentlemen, one of the finest fruits. One of the finest fruits and say, your children. If you want to give them malted milks and milkshakes, let them make them themselves. Let them put some milk in the machine. And when their kitty neighbors come over, let them throw in the right bananas, the right peaches, the right apricots. Take your frozen strawberries and your frozen fruits and make your uh, wonderful drinks in here. Let the kid build his own teeth. Here's uh, the way that you cool off your drinks. You can, uh, for instance, if you want lemonade, if you want lemonade, put in some water. And cut in the lemon. Yes, you can use skin and all, seeds and all, when you make lemonade. And to cool it, throw in your ice cubes right out of your refrigerator. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can also, you people, you people who have, uh, well, if you indulge, what I mean, if you must use alcoholic drinks, here's the way you can do it. I know a lot of you have seen this machine on the swanky cocktail bars of the country. They're making frozen daiquiris, West Indies, Gin Fizzes, Tom Collins, Mary Collins, Katie Collins, the whole Collins family. Yes, you can make them in this machine, but don't say here's to your health when you drink them. All you do is to crack up your ice cubes and throw them in, and you'll have your frozen drinks in just one minute's time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, pour this off. I think I'll put just a little more ice in because oh, I, I know none of you can drink this. I wish that I could come into your home and give you a drink of it, but I can't come into your home. But I'm going to pour this off now in just a minute, and I'll uh, show you the consistency of it. I told you that you can make your soup. We give you 40 recipes for making soup. Get that. We tell you how to make pie fillers, omelets, cake batters, how to whip your cream. I'm going to show you in a little bit how to churn your butter. And I'm going to give you show you how to make several other drinks. Now I'll turn this machine off right now and uh, we're going to pour this off. And I want you to notice, ladies and gentlemen, as I pour this, as I pour this, that there isn't any seed, no pulp, no eggshell. It is all completely liquefied, ready to go into your bloodstream and build eyes, build teeth, Build tonsils, build nerves, build health. And when we build health, we will then be the richest family in this world. You're building wealth, you're keeping your job, you have your income, and you'll live 
to be a ripe old age. I wish that I could give a sample of this cocktail to every one of you people in this audience. But you know it's impossible. So I'm going to pour a little of it out in this glass. And I'm going to sample it myself. I'm going to say, here's to your health. Ah. Delicious. Perfect health to every one of you. My dear people, the school nurse, when she comes to your school, and that little girl has her thermos bottle full of a drink like this, the school nurse is going to send a report back to mother and father. You are feeding your little one scientifically. And you people who are working in offices and factories, that thermos bottle could take a, a pint or a quart of it to work with you. And you'll have the most perfect meal you ever had in your life knowing you're getting everything that your body needs. 500 recipes in this book. Where can I get one? That's what you're thinking about and what'll it cost me? I'm going to show you in just a minute, tell you where to get one. And I'm going to tell you how you can get one absolutely free. It won't cost you a penny. Get a pencil on a piece of paper. Will you do that, please? Right now. Get a pencil and piece of paper because we're going to flash on the screen in just a minute. The address and the telephone number where you can get your machine. The price of the machine with a stainless steel bowl, as I said, with 500 recipes. We're going to give you a one-year guarantee. If anything goes wrong with this machine, in one whole year, the company is going to repair or replace it free of charge. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you one of the most valuable charts that you could have in your home. What right has anyone to buy food and spend their hard-earned money and then boil it and drain it down the sewer and throw away the elements that build a healthy body? This little chart tells you the minerals and vitamins of every food that you eat, 250 of them. And it tells you the amount of minerals and vitamins in each one of those foods and even counts your calories. I want to show you how it works. If you'll permit me, I'm going to bring an enlarged wheel of life chart into this picture. Around the outer edge, we have our vegetables. Yes, every vegetable that you should, could buy in your market. We have all your cereals, the wheat, the rice, the millet, the corn. We have here every fruit that is in the kingdom. We have nut meats. We have seafoods. We have all your meats animal flesh. We have the dairy products such as butter, cheese, eggs, and so forth. Milk. We have here miscellaneous beer, chocolate, coffee, honey, molasses, seaweeds, tea, to tell you what the mineral and vitamin content is of each of them. All you have to do is to point this arrow to the food you want to analyze. Suppose somebody in your home needs a lot of vitamin A. Just turn to the vegetables here until you see the ones that are rich in vitamin A. Where's the vegetable? Right here. Here they are. And it'll give you, tell you the amount of minerals and vitamins in each one of those vegetables. For instance, we'll turn here to the carrot. A large amount of vitamin, an abundance of vitamin A. Large amount of vitamin B, a large amount of vitamin C, a medium amount of vitamin G, and look at the minerals. Sodium, potassium, magnesium, iron, phosphorus, calcium, sulfur, and silicon. That's the way you analyze every food up here is your, your calories. It tells you how many calories in every one of the foods that you eat. This, ladies and gentlemen, sells for one dollar. It's worth $50 to any home that has health as a paramount issue. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to get that free if you order here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, I have a special offer for you. This machine with a stainless steel bowl, usually sold for $5 more than the glass bowl. I said we was going to give you the stainless steel bowl machine for the same price as the glass bowl, $34.95. But ladies and gentlemen, every person who orders the machine right now, right now, you're going to have flashed on the screen in just a minute where to get it, the telephone number, and how to get it. Get your pencil and paper ready. Every person who orders the machine right now off of this broadcast, right now, I'm going to see that you get the stainless steel bowl with our new 
Bakelite handle. You can use it just as a pitcher. You can pour off your mixtures. Suppose that you're making hot cranberry sauce, and you'd pour the hot mixture in here, and you'd have to take a hold of either the glass or the stainless steel jar and pour it, as you saw me doing a minute ago. Well, you might burn your fingers, you might even drop the jar. So now, this jar that I'm going to give you has the Bakelite handle, and you use it just as you would a water pitcher. Pour it off into your container, your orange juice, your iced lemonade, your iced drinks, your soups, your sauces, and whatever you have in here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you order right now, I'm going to see that your machine will have that handle on the stainless steel jar without one penny extra. It'll come to your mailbox, parcel post, prepaid for only $34.95. And remember, you can take the cream off the top of your milk and pour it in here, and you'll get a quarter of a pound off the top of two quart bottles of whole milk, a quarter of a pound of butter, and at 65 cents a pound, you'll pay for your machine in the butter you save in just a few weeks' time. You can't afford to go another day without a Vitamix machine. Get a Vitamix machine right now. It's going to be flashed on the screen immediately. Get your pencil and paper ready and take down this information telling you the telephone number and where you can get your machine. Prepaid only $34.95 with all these premiums.